Hello friends, my name is Sherry Weinberg and I am the interim principal at New Albany School while Mr. Layden is home. I'm part of the What Book Are You Reading program today because I love to read. Some of you may already know that I've invited your children to come and read to me and they've gone home with an I read to the principal ribbon and their name is on the door. Today, I'm going to share one of my favorite books because I hope it's about a principal who's nothing like me. This is the principal from the Black Lagoon. The Principal from the Black Lagoon by Mike Thaler, pictures by Jared Lee. It's the third day of school. I've been sent to the principal's office. What a bummer. I hear the principal, Mrs. Green, is a real monster. Kids go to her office and never come back. The waiting room is supposed to be filled with bones and skeletons. Doris Foodle was sent there for chewing gum. They say her skeleton still has a bubble in its mouth. I walk in. I take a seat. The rug is red. That's so the blood won't show. I hear she uses the tall kids as coat racks. The short kids she feeds to her pet alligator. The fat ones she uses as paperweights. The thin ones she uses as bookmarks. I'm too young to be a bookmark. Then there's her 12-foot paddle. It's supposed to have poison spikes on it. You're lucky if you get put in the cages. She has them under her desk. If you're really lucky, you get sent home in chains. But most kids, she keeps for her experiments. Derek Bloom was sent here yesterday. They say he wound up with the head of a dog. They say Freddie Jones has the feet of a chicken and Eric Porter the hands of a hamster. I'm too good looking to have the ears of a rabbit. All I did was snatch Mrs. Jones's wig it's very quiet today. Usually, they say, there's a lot of screaming. Maybe she's in a good mood. Even if I survive, this will affect my whole life. In the future, I'll be running for president. I'll be ahead in the polls, and then it will come out. I can see the headlines. Presidential candidate sent to principal's office. Uh-oh, there's a shadow at the glass. Now I'm in the jaws of fate. The door slowly opens. There's a pretty young woman standing there. She's a master of disguise. Come in, Hubie. I go in. She closes the door behind me. I look around. There's only the coat rack. It doesn't look like anyone I know. I look around for the alligator. There's only a turtle. It looks a little like Randy Potts. Now, says Mrs. Green, are we having a little trouble in class? Well, I say, I was sweeping up the room and by accident, Mrs. Jones's wig got caught on the broom handle. Well, we'll have to apologize, won't we? Yes, we will. And the next time, we'll have to be more careful. Yes, we will, yes, we will. Now run along. Is that all? close the door. Boy, was I lucky. Those flowers on her desk were probably poisonous. Just one whiff and you would turn purple and die. Fortunately, I held my breath. I went into her cave and I have returned without the ears of a rabbit. I'll have to sweep her office sometime and see if she wears a wig. The end.